Hi YouTube. Uh, for this video I'm going to be showing you a tutorial of how to play the Yum Nikki save theme that I posted before. Somebody requested it in a comment, so comment, so I thought I might make a video. Alright, the theme is pretty easy and first I'm going to teach you the melody of it and then I'm going to go through three different ways to play it. The first is exactly the same as the MIDI except on piano. And uh, this involves, this isn't what the video was that I posted, it's just bass line and the melody. Then the next way to play it will be the way I posted in the video and it's got some basic chords in there but they're not the chords that I figured out were correct. They sound good but you know and it's kind of a subjective thing so if you like this this version better than any other version then why not learn this version? You know it's all about what you like to listen to or if you have your own version you like better than you know play that. And then uh, the third version is the way I relearned it, which is using different chords and a little bit better voice leading. So, all right, so the melody of the song is B, G, B, C, D, C, D, E, C, G, C. And that's the first version of it. And basically all the different versions are just iterations of that same thing. So after that you get kind of a second version. I guess it's not really a version of it. It's just the first phrase of it. And then uh, the second part is... Which is D, C, D, E, C, G, C, D, C, D, E, F, E, D, B, C. Like I said, it's just a different iteration of the same thing. So that is pretty simple in itself. And the bass line to it is just as simple. So uh, the bass line is C, then G, then A, then E, then F, then C, then F, and G, and then a C. So that's it. And for the first version, the MIDI version, you just combine those two things and you get the song. Exactly like it's played in the MIDI version like you hear in the game. So it's... Instead of a beat, but so the second version, the one I play in the video, it's got basically the same bass line but with chords filled in and the same exact melody. So I'm not going to explain that again, it's the same thing you played for that first kind of MIDI version. But this, uh, the chords to it are a C major 7 or a C major no 7, it's a C major with the octave, so it's C, E, G, C, and then an E minor 7. E, G, B, D, and then uh, an A minor first inversion, so it's C, C, E, A, and then a C major, C, E, G, and then an E minor 7, which is E, G, B, D, and then a A minor again, the same first inversion, one. and then another E minor 7, and then an F major 7, which is F, A, C, E, and then a C major, C, U, G, C. And that's it. And you just put it to the melody, and it's all set. So with those combined, I think all of those last for a whole note's length. Hang on. Actually... It depends on how you count it. I think the way I kind of writ out a uh, sheet music version, which is going to be in the length of this, of this uh, video, but uh, I think they're all half notes, just at a really slow tempo. Tempo, so it's and then you want to change, and then you want to change again to the A minor set. Right here, you can do an octave of the uh, 
with the thumb here, so. I like to do it, but it's up to you. And then you change the E minor 7. Then you play the A minor, first inversion. Then the octave, if you want to do it. And then the E minor 7. And then you change it to F, minor, F major 7. And then the C major. And you just repeat it however many times as you want. All right. So for the final version of the song, it's going to be a little bit different chords. Um, the chords are going to be C major, like we had before, except without the octave. So it's just C, E, G, C major, G major, first inversion. So it's B, D, G, and then an A minor. No inversion, just A, C, E. And then a uh, E minor, which is G, B, E, first inversion. And then an F major, no inversion, F A C. And then a uh, C major, E G C. And then an F major, F A C. And then a G major. Or you could play a B diminish. But don't do that. Just do uh, we're at the uh, C major before that. And then we can do the uh, F major right there. And then the G major. And then go to the C again. And you're all done. So, uh, Showing you where the chord changes are, it would be C major, G major, and then A minor, oops, and then the E minor, and then F major, then the C major, and then the F major. The G major, the B diminished, and then the C major, and that's it for the song. So, at full speed, it would sound like. Actually, let me. that's it so uh thanks for watching the video i this is my first time doing any kind of tutorial thing or even i guess having my no i did a singing video once so i guess this isn't my first video with my voice on it but uh thanks uh if you have any constructive criticism please give me it i always appreciate it and thank you so much have a good day